we are going to end our discussion on Java's primitive data types with the data type Boolean. A Boolean is a fairly simple data type, only being able to store the values true or false. Now, Boolean is interesting on the chart of Java's primitive data types in that we don't really care how much space it's going to take up on a computer. That's not going to affect anything about its functionality. Depending on the architecture is how much space it's going to take up on a particular system. But really, you only need one bit to store Boolean. That bit would either be 0 or 1 for true or false. The type Boolean only has two values. It could be true or false, and we can interpret that to mean yes or no, or on or off. Kind of like electronic memory, 1 or 0, 1 meaning on, 0 meaning off. This is what it would look like in a programming environment. So if I had a variable called t or f and it was a Boolean value, I could assign it to true and then when I printed it out, it would look something like this. It would say the word true. I could also assign the value false and when I print it out, it would print out false. And it's interesting to note that true and false are both Java keywords, just like void, static, public, class, are all Java reserved keywords. Here's a common mistake with Boolean to add quotes around false or true. Later, when we're looking at strings, this is how you would create a string. And when you're creating words, it's just second nature to put quotes around them. So be careful when you're using Boolean variables not to put quotes around them as this will cause an error. So Boolean is a very simple primitive data type in that it only stores true and false. To be honest with you, it's an unnecessary data type because we could store true or false meaning one or zero, or all negative numbers are false and all positive numbers are true, or 36 is true and 87 is false. But to the human brain, it's easier to understand it in the context of saying the word true and saying the word false. And therefore, when you see true printed on the screen or you see false printed on the screen, it creates a better understanding of what the program is doing. And also, we know when we look at a Boolean value, it can only be the value of true or false. And so it creates a simplicity that's easier to read. I say in the end, why Boolean? Because of readability. It makes the program far more readable to the user. And so that's Java's eighth primitive data type, Boolean.